Hi, my name's Eric. I work with Cairngorm Ski Patrol here on Cairngorm Mountain and we're going to talk about our new avalanche training park that we have just over the, the fence line above the ptarmigan, slightly to the side of the Cairngorm Summit Path. And the idea is that folks can come and practice their avalanche transceiver work. Uh, we have five buried units and you just need to pop into Ski Patrol and ask for the control unit and we'll show you how it works. It's dead straightforward. Um, we're hoping to encourage people to, to practice with their transceivers and obviously anybody going out back country boarding or skiing should really be carrying a transceiver, a shovel and probe and ideally have the knowledge to avoid getting avalanched in the first place. But having the, the equipment just means that if you should get avalanched you've got a better chance of finding your, your buddies in the avalanche debris if they're wearing transceivers. So we'll do a wee demo and take it from there. So we're going to do a single burial search. I'm using a digital transceiver, a BCA tracker. And first we've got to switch it on. You let it go through its self-check, it tells you a battery strength, and then it goes straight into transmit mode. If I'm needing to search for somebody, I press and hold the red button until it goes into search mode, and I either have a signal straight away or I don't. In this case, I've already got a signal. Get the middle LED lit. I'm starting at 37 on the screen. It's an indication it's not an absolute distance. And I start moving, hoping the numbers will get smaller, which they do. So at this stage, 23, 19, I can go quickly, I can hold it high up, just like an aircraft coming into land. So as my numbers drop and I get closer, I need to slow down, get closer to the surface, try and keep the middle LED lit. To once I'm inside a two meter box, I kind of ignore the LEDs and I think about going in straight lines and right angles. So I've got 0.6 there. I'm going to mark that. I'm going to go out at right angles. 0.6. 1.6. So I keep it moving. 0.6 was there. If you stop moving it, we don't get any new information. Numbers are going up that way. I'll come back to my 0.6. I'll just check this way. 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6. 0.5 there, right. That's my lowest reading. I'm going to probe at right angles to the surface of the snow. Bang on, first time. We'd leave that probe in, we start digging down the side of it. Lots of people digging below me, conveying snow out. Be really careful when you're digging out your buddy, you're looking to get to their face, head area, clear their chest, check and see if there's an open pocket of air round about their mouth and their nose. Hopefully there is, hopefully they'll be looking at you and speaking and thanking you. Job done. So there we go, there's a real quick demo of a single person burial. You are your buddy's best help option if they get avalanched. So you need to practice with these, you need to get really good, you need to make sure you've got a transceiver, a shovel and a probe. The transceiver bit should be the shortest part of the search. You need to think about effective shoveling as well. That's another video. Be safe out there, learn about how to avoid being avalanche, that's the most important thing. It happens in Scotland all the time. We have a real dynamic snowpack, so you need to learn all about it. Most of all, have a great time outboarding and skiing in the backcountry.